checkpoints. Now, what is checkpoints? Checkpoints, when we write a test case, right? When we wrote a test case, what did we do here? And when we say execute, or rather executed the test case, what did we do here? Can anyone tell me what did we do here when we executed a test case? Anyone? Not in QTP, I'm talking about manual. Okay. No, I get always uh, same people participating. I'm getting bored with them. Okay. Yeah. You tell me what what we did in manual testing execution. What did we do there? Can you tell me? Declare? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. When we are doing, uh, when we did a manual testing execution, right? We saw the test case and we executed with the application. What did you actually do there? Let's make it a little more simple. Now I wrote the test case and I'm going to execute the test case. Okay. Now when you wrote the test case, what did you what is the main aspect that you did here? Yeah? You manually went uh, actually followed all the steps and you manually went through all the steps. Correct. But when you wrote the test case, you had steps, correct? Yes. Steps. Then, then you had uh, expected, data. expected uh, test data of expected. expected. Now expected is what you are focusing on, right? Yes. So when you wrote your test case, you wrote expected results. Yes. Expected result. Now when you executed, what did you do? Actual. Actual. Now you compared expected with actual. Correct. Yes. Yes. Now when you did your manual testing, you did this. When you wrote your test case, you wrote the expected. When you executed, you wrote the actual and you compared whether expected and actual meet. If it doesn't meet, pass or fail. If it doesn't meet, Result. what what do you do? Uh, you if your expected it, uh, does not meet the actual, what what do you do? What is the next step? Huh. What is the next step? We, we find a defect. Defect. Correct. The next step is to raise a defect. Yeah. Now, here, thank you. Here, in QTP, how do you compare expected with actual? How do you compare? You have to compare with expected with actual, then only you will know whether the test passed or failed, right? I'm, I'm recording a particular step here, and I'm replaying, replaying the step. How do you know that these two steps matched? That is why we have checkpoints. So we check at different points whether we are getting the same expected with the actual. Now, checkpoints are of multiple types. If you go to my application, Go to um, automation, automation, QTP, basics, checkpoints. Now, checkpoints are of multiple types. If you see here, we have a standard checkpoint, image checkpoint, bitmap checkpoint, text area checkpoint, database checkpoint, accessibility checkpoint, XML checkpoint, page checkpoint, and table checkpoint. Every checkpoint is explained in detail here with image with pictures it's explained here now we will go through certain checkpoints we'll go through how to work with standard checkpoint we'll go uh, work with how to work with text area checkpoint database checkpoint these are checkpoints that you will regularly use right there are multiple checkpoints but commonly used checkpoints we will go through now for a standard checkpoint right for a standard checkpoint go to insert Is that oh no? Oh my God! Okay, insert output value. 
checkpoint and you see here insert checkpoint oh, let me use my other mouse okay insert checkpoint and you have multiple checkpoints unless and until it's in recording mode not none of the checkpoints come up except database checkpoint so a standard checkpoint text checkpoint comes only in the recording mode so you have to start your recording in order for that to work so here say example i'm going to go and create a checkpoint okay so i'm going to close this flight reservation i'm going to close this i'm going to open a new window I'm going to open a new window okay and now i'm going to use a checkpoint so i'm going to create a checkpoint for my launch so for this i'm going to create a checkpoint let's see how to create a checkpoint so i'll click on record okay now when i go to insert checkpoint you see here everything is enabled now standard checkpoint i'm going to click a standard checkpoint now i'm going to say what i wanted to check here here i want to check the whether the agent name appears i'll say okay now what do you want to check in this so now this is the checkpoint property window what do you want to check i want to check whether this particular is enabled and the text is agent name you don't want the enabled or disabled i will just remove that and i'll give only this particular value text equal to agent name now what is this if i have a value that is there in my uh, data table i can take it from the data table here okay now i want to see what is the constant value this is the value that it has to check this is the value that is coming from the application what is your this is your expected this is your actual now you want to see whether the expected meets the actual you have to give whatever it is here now it is copied the same thing as of now i'll say okay now it is inserted a standard checkpoint here now let's run this let's run this and see whether it works and then what we will do i'm going to stop it and we are going to modify the checkpoint let's modify the checkpoint and see whether it's failing so i'll say okay now i'll put a checkpoint here it passed because it got the expected with the actual now this is your expected this is your expected this is your actual now i'm going to change the actual i'm going to put one here okay let's see whether it's running run from top you see it failed you see it failed now what we can do is we can pass a message into our uh, uh, test result whenever we give we can pass a message into our we can pass a message into our checkpoint uh, uh, test result saying that we have uh, this particular checkpoint failed so if you see the test result insert uh, sorry automation test result you see here checkpoint was not found you see here agent name one checkpoint was not found in the object repository because we are only checking for the agent name and i changed the agent name as agent name one it was not able to find it so you can put any any tech, any value anything that you want to check in our checkpoint similarly for so that's what is been explained here if you go to standard checkpoint you see here standard checkpoint captures 
the expected property and the property value of the object while recording. So you have to have the recording enabled. This is exactly what we did now. We added a static checkpoint and you get the checkpoint coming up here. Similarly, let's do one more thing. If I want to check, um, let me go here. If I want to check a specific data is enabled or disabled, uh, Rajesh Mercury. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check whether, I'm going to check whether this is enabled or disabled, right? How do I check that? Now I'll go here again, record, insert checkpoint, standard checkpoint. I'll click on this button. It's a button, okay. Now what do you want to check there? I want to, you can even check the width and the length of the button, width of the button, everything is there. I want to check whether the button is enabled or disabled. I will say instead of disabled, it should be enabled. Okay, it should be enabled. Now I'll say okay. I'll stop recording. here so let's go into our object repository if you see our local object repository here checkpoints and output objects agent name here is your checkpoint for agent name all this value you can go and change it flight this should be true I want this to be true so let's run this entry whether it will pass or fail I'm going to run from this point leave it here run from this point I wanted it to be enabled, but it's actually disabled, right? So it will fail. It's waiting for like 20 seconds to see whether, the, whether it's able to uh, get the value enabled. You see here, enable this, the property value is true, but it's false. So that's why it failed, it failed the test. So what did we put here, the property value? If we go to our checkpoint, then let's go back to our uh, script, go to local object repository, go to flight, we said that is true. That means it is enabled, but actually when you saw it is disabled. So let's let's enable that and run it and see. 11, 15, 15. Okay, now it is enabled. Let's run the same thing and see. Let's run the same thing. It should pass. Let's see the result. You see, it passed. Let's go here, let's go here, flight button, checkpoint. You see, it is true, so that particular text, text check passed. Yes, you are able to understand this. Yeah. What's your question?
You have a question? No, sorry, my hand was like this. Okay, oh, no. please lower your hand. Yeah, fine. Now, this is how you do your checkpoint. Okay, um, that is for your standard checkpoint. Now let's see what is the next checkpoint. Let's see. Standard checkpoint. Next see image checkpoint. Image checkpoint actually uh, renders bit by bit. So it checks the value of an image on your web or Windows application. For example, we can check that a selected image source file is correct. So for example, um, I wanted to do a image checkpoint. So I'll go here. I want to check this image. So you go to an image checkpoint, insert. So I go to recording option first, insert, checkpoint, bitmap checkpoint. I'll click on this. So here, static, it is this one. OK. Now it is going to display me the, this is the image that. OK, give me one second, guys. OK. So it's added here, static, static checkpoint. Now let's go into our object repository. Static here. Now all it does is it just compares that image. It's not displaying the image, but it will just compare that specific image to see whether that particular image has changed or not. We do, where do we use this image checkpoint? We usually use the image checkpoint for logo. Right, whenever you have a logo and company logo and sometimes a company logo might not be displayed properly, those places we use image checkpoint. The next checkpoint that we have is a very important checkpoint. We are going to see the next checkpoint is database checkpoint. Text area checkpoint is again for a specific text area. Say example, I want to check this particular information that is um, order information, this particular text. I go click on record, insert checkpoint, text checkpoint, click on this. This is the uh, object, yes. Now here, now here, what is the value that you need? This is the name of that particular check what, check text. You see here, it's copied everything. I don't want everything, I just want this. So constant value, only this particular value. See, everything is getting copied. You have to check all those things, so I don't want. I want only this to be checked, okay? Is displayed, fine. Now match, if I want to match the exact case, that is in whatever case, it should be case sensitive, I can do that. I'll say, okay. Now, let me stop it. I don't need this, let me remove this line, oops. What is happening? Stop, stop. Okay, so I don't need all these crap things. Now here, if you go again to your object repository, information you see here. Check that information is displayed. See, it's giving a summary of what, is, what you want to check. Here is the constraint, what do you want to check? 
check text, check before, check after. You want to check just this text, you can do that. Or you want you want to check the text before this, give the constraint. Or you want to check the text after this. So anything that comes before this, it will check if you are seeing, or anything that comes after this, it will check. But this is a summary, not here, in your application. So I want to check the exact text. Fine. This is what I wanted to check. Now I can go and see. Now it is what it's doing. It's taking this te text as the expected and this is as the actual. Similar to what we did with the static checkpoint or, or standard checkpoint. Guys, any questions here? Any questions? Um, I have a question, Rogers. Yeah. So the checkpoint is checking the uh, properties of the object. Yes. Not the value. You are checking the value, right? No, you are not checking the property. You are checking the value. What is displayed here, right? No, I mean like, uh, so when you said in that login information, you said the agent name, agent name one. So that was checking the name of the property, not the actual value inserted into that property. No, no, no. You are not checking the inserted value, right? Even in even in your manual testing, what you wrote, when I typed www.kero.com, I should get this page. Yes. Now, how do you know that's the page? You see certain things there, right? You have to see the login information there. You're not putting any value there, correct? Okay. You are able to get me. Now, okay. when you are what, how did you compare your expected with actual? We uh, said that that URL should be displayed. That particular page should be displayed, correct? Huh. Now, in that page, how do you know that's the page? We by said the URL. by the URL, and you said that uh, when in the description you said login information, uh, login page should be displayed, correct? Yes. Now, when this, when you do the actual, you have to see the login page, correct? How do you know that's the login page? You know that there is a user uh, email address is asked, the password is asked, and the submit button is there. Yeah. That's how you know, right? By seeing certain data in that particular page, you know that, that that's the page you are looking for. Okay. But how does QTP know? That's the expected page. By you will use the text checkpoint or, or standard checkpoint to say that this value that if you see this particular text, then that page is displayed. So if those property values are there, then it's that page. Yes. Okay, okay, not the actual um, text that's inserted into those properties. No, no, we are not going to put the data as and check, no? Mm. You are you're thinking I'm going to put the username and password and check. No, no, no. Right, okay, okay. So I'm only comparing, even, even yeah. wait, hold on, even in your manual testing, you are not checking with the data, right? Step one, launch the application. Yeah. What you are, in your expected, you should say, you are saying that, login page should be displayed. Yeah. In your actual, you will say, login page is displayed. Yeah. Step two, user, enter your username, password. Mm -hmm. What is your expected? Home page should be displayed. Yeah. You are not checking whether you are putting the username, password. Right. Your expected is what you are checking, correct? Okay, okay, yeah. We are not validating anything. We're only you are not validating anything. You are only checking whether your expected versus meets the actual. And how do you meet that? By putting the test data there, correct? Okay, so whatever uh, objects that are present in that uh, page, you have to check for those objects, the properties yes. of those objects. Yes. Oh, got it, thank you. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rajesh, when do we know we have to use the standard and database checkpoint? Difference, you know, in both. When I do a database checkpoint, you'll understand when to use a database checkpoint. But less all, you can use the standard, or if you want to text, uh, see what you want to. What is your requirement? If I want to check a specific text, right? Okay. I I did this text. When you saw me, I did this text. Where is that? Yeah. This text with a text checkpoint, correct? Yeah. I can do this same thing with a standard checkpoint. Yeah. Then why do I need to do a text checkpoint? Text checkpoint, I have a lot of more options of saying I can say um, in this text checkpoint, if you see, wait, let's go to our object repository. 
standard checkpoint what it does it will open up the properties for you okay. these are the properties for that agent name okay here you can compare some whatever you want that's what a standard checkpoint say example even in the flight i said it should be true it checked it's true or false depending upon it it failed the test correct yeah but in the in the text checkpoint it will only check for that particular text we are not looking into the properties of that it'll directly check whether that particular text is appeared or not you're getting me okay so this is only the uh, database checkpoint no okay. that is your text checkpoint we are not even done database checkpoint okay 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 text checkpoint will check the text while okay. your standard checkpoint you will show you the properties and you can select something from the property okay got it got it got it thank you any other questions guys yeah uh actually uh, i just uh, typed in the chat box so is it that we don't need to check the you know the value of value of anything since while running the application it will pop up you know then and there only that saying that you know it is wrong or no what do you mean by the value you want to check whether the username password you have entered is correct or wrong yes suppose if you want to no we that. don't do that checking here text okay. check point is to check your expected and actual that's all okay if you are you are using doing the login step and your see your expected is to see the home page and the actual does not meet its failed yes right yes so that's all you do you don't need you don't check whether your username is correct okay you got it yes i understood if you want to check the username is correct then you can use the exist window say example i go here let me close this i go to this and i say so i'm going to give my username as rajesh and password as rajesh now click okay what is it coming up it's just throwing an error message correct yes yes now what i can do here is let me close this let me clean this up well i am wasting my time here i'll open a new one no okay let me uh, associate my object repository Right reservation. Now, is this this window? I have to add this window into my object repository. Enable editing. Add object. This one. Okay. Oh yeah, I added only that window. Okay, fine. Uh, what else I need to add here is just an OK button. OK button. Okay, that got added. Now what I will do here is I am going to launch the application. Run. And then I'm going to enter my username and password. So it's a name, password, one with the password. Okay. Now I gave the password wrong. Okay. So now what I will do here is I will say. I'll see if this window exists. What is this window called? This window is flight reservation flight dialog box, right? Yes. So I'll drag and drop this here. Let's see if Thank you. 
What am I typing? Access. Then I will say object repository. Okay. Click on OK. Then I will give this. During data table, which is, we are not going to hard code this here. When we see data table, you will see that we are getting the value from the Excel sheet and then we will move the Excel sheet to the next row. Okay, here I'm just going to give it hard coded. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll click on. Okay, but yeah. well, let's run this from here. If you want to do error handling, this is how you start doing it. So in case your username is wrong. Okay. So we do we do I mean follow all the condition. If anything, suppose like this is wrong or there is yeah, see. Now oh 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 I did made a mistake here. Wait, hold on. Okay, but then I should click okay, that's when that window pops up, right? Yeah. It should come here. Like control X. Should come here. This window comes, then click OK and then continue. Now let's run this. Run. Got it? Yes. Right. Okay. Or if you you want, you can do in this way, or you can put a checkpoint instead of putting this one exist. I can use a checkpoint at the same place. What I will do? I'll launch the application. It'll do the same thing. I'll give Rajesh, Rajesh, you okay? Now this one, I will go here. I'll click outside this. Be careful, you have to click it outside. I'll click on record. Okay. I'll go to automation, sorry, insert, checkpoint, uh, text checkpoint. I'll say this. Check whether this text appears. Yes. Stop it. Yeah, it's uh, incorrect password, right? This is the text that I want to check. Yes. Stop. Now, this is the check point, text check. So I will say, Okay. Okay, so that's working. Oh, where is it? No, 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 cancel.
all you need to do is put the exist inside and uh, if that fails change it that's all okay okay yep thank you any other questions guys oh any other questions fine um so in the last checkpoint that we are going to see is database checkpoint now for a database checkpoint we need not uh, go to the recording mode database checkpoint is the, old, uh, the other than database checkpoint and xml checkpoint all the checkpoints will be enabled only when you are running in the um, record mode so for database checkpoint how do we work with database checkpoint click on database checkpoint now here it opens you a new wizard called the database query wizard here we have to write the query for connecting to the database okay so here what we are going to do we are going to specify a sql statement manually okay so i'll say next what is the connection string that you want to create so create a connection string you this usually will be given to you by the data source will be given to you by the dba okay you have file data source or the machine data source file data source is the data source that will be given to you by the dba put it in a local directory of yours and you can directly connect to it if you don't have that then go to the machine data source here what we are going to select we are going to select the this one fly qtp qt flight reservation 32 this one this is the data source that we are going to use for our flight reservation say okay now what is the query that you want to write so i will say select how do you how did i write the query so in order to see what is when you create an order where, where what is happening here go to c drive right let's go to that particular property where the flight reservation is sample app i'm going to go till this point copy and put it here remove of the double quotes in front enter now here you see flight 32 mdb this is the database this is the access database that you flight reservation uses to connect uh, to store its data now here you have so many databases inside this if you see go to orders if you go to orders this is where your order that we generated this is where the order is every order that we inserted gets generated here in a specific row here <coughs> 197 that we created today so this is how the order is now what is the table name for that particular order what we want to check so now i'll go to my database checkpoint database checkpoint and i'll write a query to connect to that particular database select when we are doing sql you will have a better understanding of how this query was written. so i'll say select see the table column name is customer underscore name so that's what i gave here customer underscore name from which table order table from orders table where what's the order number order underscore number equal to which order number are you going to work with say example i'll take order number 10 say order number uh, 19 i'll take order number 197 i'm going to work with that particular order number so 197 finish now let's execute that query and show me that order number here i took the customer name 
for that particular order number, I took the customer name. What is the customer name of that order number? Is Rajesh. So that's what it's displaying here. Constraint is Rajesh. What do you want to change it to? Do I want to keep it as? I want to change it to say. Um, I want to change it to Harshit. Okay. I'll say okay. Now it inserted a database checkpoint for me. Now if you go to your um, database DB checkpoint here. Now I'm going to run the DB checkpoint. Okay. Now when I run this DB checkpoint, it's going to fail because the data there is Rajesh, not Harshit. Okay. Run from step. Run. Let's see the test result. It failed. You see here it failed. DB checkpoint, checkpoint. You see here. Failed. Because it's showing Harshit. Because it's getting Harshit. So this is what we do in database checkpoint. So now, if I wanted to, when I'm running a query, an update query, right? And I'm updating the database from Rajesh to Harshit, right? So let me go to uh, flight reservation and let me update that particular. So you're writing an update, um, uh, uh, what do you say, um, update script, and you are supposed to update order number 197 to <coughs> the name to Rajesh, sorry, Harshit, so 197. This is how your script is going to work. If you are going here, and I'm changing it to, now how do you, now I said update. How do you check whether that update happened or not, you will not have access to the database to go and go and check the database. So you will use the schema. You see here it got updated. Now you will use the database checkpoint to log in and see whether it is really working. So what we will do, I am going to run this from that particular step and it will pass because after you have updated, you are going to put this checkpoint. Let's see the result. You see the test passed now. Let's go and do the checkpoint. You see here, it succeeded. It got hardship. This is how we check database checkpoint. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Harshit? Uh, no questions, but I just have to, you know, go along with the video the next time when I'll practice, you know, once I have the video recording. It's not confusing, I understood, but I just need to, you know, follow with the step by step. What are you doing right now? I just have to do it again on my own, then I'll understand it more. Yeah, well, the more, the more you have practice, you'll understand it better. Yep. I mean, I don't have any questions, though. I understood. Yep. Aida? Uh, yes, Rajesh. Actually, so the whatever the difference, uh, if, it, if it fails, so we'll be sending it to the uh, developers. Is it? That's how that works. If it fails, right? Mm -hmm. You exactly know where it failed. Right. So we'll get the screenshot also, right there. It shows right where. You see here. 
Mm-hmm. What was expected and you didn't get that. Right. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't show that you are expecting A, but it's given B. It doesn't show oh, that, right? Okay. okay, right. It just said it's past. Just said it past, but mm-hmm. in your when you are running the script, it will take the screenshot of each and every um, step, right? Right. You can take that and show it to your um, okay developer. Mm-hmm. Getting me? Yeah. Karthi? Yeah, Rajesh. I have to look at the recording again. You know, at this point i don't have any doubts that's it uh, yes sir i'm good i need some practice that is fine suti yeah i understand sividya yeah i have no question guys i still have to practice a lot you raised your hand and now you don't have question no 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 the question i had was <laughs> you know <laughs> No, I wanted to know if, uh, you know, see the date and the time is recorded there, right? So whenever you make that checkpoint, the mm-hmm. table. Mm-hmm. So does it also show, um, I don't know if it is the right question or not. Does it also show the person who did it or like what? Or it just shows the time? Which one? You're talking about the table or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah the date and time on the top of the this one yeah that, yeah 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 that is recorded that that is the time that we made that uh, changes right the checkpoint okay mm-hmm. so i i thought of asking you that question then i thought it's not a right question so I what was what is the question the question was um who did it will that also be recorded like like do we get a kind of history how many times we made the checkpoints and how where the history No. no. No, no, it doesn't come like that. Oh, okay. Doesn't come like that. It only just shows you the time and when that went happened. Oh, okay. So there is nothing called a history where we can go how many times we have used the standard checkpoints and everything, right? No, no. Oh, okay. No. Okay. That was me. Okay. Um, Vikram, you have a question? No, uh, yeah, understood. Uh, I'll have just need to practice some more. Mm-hmm. Okay. So fine. So now that's all about um, checkpoints 